Hello, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about how much does it cost to run this boat in 2022 in the UK. So let's crack on. Okay, so I've got my little list. I've written down all the costs associated with owning this boat. So, the first things first, you've got to buy a boat. This boat cost us, two months ago, £26,500. Brand new, it's a 2006 boat, and brand new, this boat would cost about 50, 55,000. After that, you've got to moor the boat. You don't have to moor the boat. If the boat's on a trailer, obviously you can keep the trailer at your house or wherever, but we choose to moor the boat. So we are currently on the River Hamble in the UK. We're in a privately owned boatyard called The Cabin. This boat, six and a half meters long, costs 3,300 pound per year to moor the boat. But if I was to take this same boat and move it the other side of that bridge and put it in the Premier Marina, which has a pub, a bar, a restaurant, it's a little bit fancier, you're talking 5,400 pound a year. Don't worry, you don't need to write down all these costs. At the end of the video, I'll give you a full total of everything that we've spent or we will spend in a year to own and run this boat. Insurance, insurance is actually really good. Compared to a car, 240 pound a year to insure this boat. Servicing, it's a shaft drive boat. So what that means is it just has an engine and then out the back underneath the boat, you've got the shaft drive with the propeller on the end of it. There's no out drive on this boat, so you don't have to service the leg. It is effectively just servicing the engine itself. Same as a car, it is the oil, filters, plugs, belts, you name it. If you want to put it to a main dealer, to a Volvo, so if we took this to a Volvo Penta dealer, you're talking probably a thousand pounds. If you want to do it through a authorized dealer or through a local um, mechanic, you're probably talking around 600 to 750 to get this serviced. Or you obviously you could service it yourself, it's not that hard, it's effectively just changing the oil, changing the plugs and the filters, and obviously the belts. So now we've got anti-foul. So what's anti-foul? Anti-foul is the paint that you put on the bottom of the boat, which stops all the weeds growing on the boat. Why do you have to do that? If you don't do it, and you let the weeds grow on the bottom of your boat, it will massively reduce the performance of the boat. It will put a lot more strain on the engine, and it will cost you a load more money in fuel. So every year you need to anti-foul your boat, it will cost £160 to lift it out and paint the antifoul. It will cost another £160 to put it back into the water. So you've got 320 quid there just to get the boat in and out to antifoul. Get onto fuel. This boat has a 120 litre tank. It's currently £1.88 a litre on the river. So to fill this tank, it's going to cost £225. It runs on average at 11 litres per hour. So you're gonna get 20 hours runtime out of the boat, which considering most of the time when you're on the boat, like I am now, you don't even have the engine running, you just come down and enjoy the boat. I don't think it's actually that bad. Um, so what I worked out is this boat has done 606 hours. It's a 2006 boat. So it uh, makes it 16 years old. So going against that, it's done 37 and a half hours each year of its life. Running at 11 litres per hour equals 412 litres at £1.88 today's prices. It's going to cost you £775 per year to fuel this boat if you're averaging 37 and a half hours. So, in total, this boat costs £775 a year in fuel. It costs £3,300 a year to moor the boat. Insurance is £240. Servicing it is £800. Anti-foul, £320. So in total, this boat costs £5,435 a year to run, enjoy, and do everything you want to do on it. Now, the cool thing is for me is there's three of us who own this boat. So it actually only costs me £1,811 a year which I don't think is that bad really for the enjoyment that we get out of this. I don't think that's bad at all. I hope that's helped. I hope that's given you some kind of insight into how much it costs to own a boat and run a boat in the UK. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it and you found this video useful. Um, the next video hopefully will be us taking this over to Sherberg. We're just waiting to fit 
a swim uh, outboard mount. So once we've got that and we've got an outboard um, auxiliary engine, just in case the worst happens, then we're going to crack on and we're going to get out of there and we'll take you guys for the ride. See you soon.